Ganesh with Gaba, your holly bolly goo. Oh no, my eyes itch, my nose is runny, and my throat is scratched. Hello everybody, this is Rahul Josh, back with more movies for you. Hello everyone and welcome to Genius Kids on Air, being brought to you by Genius Kids. Genius Kids on Air is where kids of all ages learn to think, lead and communicate. Genius Kids on Air gives kids of all ages the opportunity to raise questions, ask questions, answer questions, develop confidence and the freedom of speech. Genius Kids on Air radio program is for the whole family where our weekly topics will encourage all of you at home to engage in healthy discussions, exploring different subjects, points of views and opinions. In today's fast-paced society, being just book smart and a straight A student is not enough. Our show will teach you to be street smart no matter how big or small you are. Remember, it is not easy to stand up and speak out for what you believe in, and our show is that avenue for your voice to be heard. A favorite book, a thought to share, an unusual career you've picked, your favorite comedian or president. Is homework really useful? What is the purpose of spelling B? Is the planet Earth really the only planet we can live on? Are you the next American Idol? And lots more. Right here on Genius Kids on Air, a weekly show on KLOK 1170 AM every Tuesday night from 7 o'clock to 7.30 p.m. Tune in every week to hear our kids discuss their thoughts, their ideas and views. Call us at any time during the show at 1-855-772-8278 and share your views or chat with our guests. Do you want to be a guest or have a topic to discuss? Well, send me a message on Facebook at Genius Kids On Air. Did you miss our show? No problem. Join us on Facebook or listen to our archive shows at GeniusKidsOnline.com. Remember, children, as Anthony Robbins once said, Life is a gift and it offers us the privilege, opportunity and responsibility to give back something by becoming more. Genius Kids On Air is your chance to be that special person. Your mindset needs to be turned around at a very early age. We must be the change that we want to see, as Mahatma Gandhi said. And on that tune, stay tuned for 30 minutes of TLC. Think, lead and communicate. Shreya, how come you are always so relaxed in class and so confident? Yaar, you read so well. What do you eat? I can eat? Well, let's say some of my brain food comes from Genius Kids. I started at Genius Kids when I was very, very small. And I have learned to think, read and communicate. Oh gosh, I wish I could do even one of those. Easy, I can Tell your mom to enroll you at Genius Kids today. It's never too late. Genius Kids, the leader in early education and nominated best preschool in Alameda County. Call 510-713-2431 or visit www.geniuskidsonline.com. Are you seeking a fun place for your little genius to step into their journey of learning? Maybe you need a program to tweak the minds of your toddler and preschooler. Maybe you're looking for a safe daycare for your infant that includes an exciting, stimulating environment filled with love. Maybe you need a fun after-school program during the school year that offers academics, sports, dance, music, acting, public speaking and arts and crafts all under one roof. And to add to the icing on the cake, a cute real yellow school bus that can pick and drop your child off and to and from school, home or genius kids. How about delicious home cooked meals? Yummy aloo parottas, creamy vegetable galore khichdi, fresh fruit salad and lots more. Maybe you have a child with ADD, dyslexia, autism or someone who needs an extra special attention. Maybe you have a middle school or high schooler who needs to learn the ropes of speech and debate. Now where could you find this wish list? Yes, of course, there are tons of preschools and after school programs, but let me ask you, how many of them have been featured on CNNMoney.com as the most innovative educational concept? How many of them have been interviewed by Fox TV? How many of them have been nominated Best of the Bay by Crown 4 TV? How many of them have been featured nationally and globally for their success? Only Genius Kids, an independent, award-winning, accelerated learning center founded on the philosophy, never too little to learn. A simple belief that every child is a genius, and as educators and parents, it is our responsibility to awaken the inner genius in each child. 
Call us today with campuses in Ardenwood, Central Fremont, Mission San Jose, and of course our very first expanded new franchise in San Ramon. We are here to offer you that extra special attention. However, due to an overwhelming response, please only call us if you want the best and nothing but the best for your child, since we will settle for nothing less than that. Now Genius Kids is proud to announce the opening of what we refer to as a five-star rating daycare on Fremont Boulevard in the Charter Square shopping center right next door to Dulhan. Beautiful classrooms, dance rooms, arts and crafts, nap area with stars and a baby room with pictures of mommy. And then a huge playground. Opening October 1st, 2011. To reserve a seat, give us a call at 510-713-2431. That's 510-713-2431. Or our San Ramon campus at 925-244-1080. Or visit GeniusKidsOnline.com. Hello everyone and welcome to Genius Kids On Air. Today it is Tuesday, September the 6th, 2011 and I hope everyone had a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I'm Miss Renu and I'm here to tweak your minds for 25 minutes. Like you heard, we're opening a new campus on Fremont Boulevard in Fremont, right next to Dulhan at the Charter Square Shopping Center. And I'm very busy decorating and painting the classrooms there today and making it the most beautiful preschool and daycare in the Bay Area. So today I'm going to play you one of my archive shows from last year when my students used to host my shows. Stay tuned, enjoy the program, and by the way, do call me and say hi at 510-364-4033. That's 510-364-4033. I would love to hear from my students as I paint my classrooms. Hello everyone, and welcome to Miss Reno On Air, a show for kids and by kids. This is your Making a Difference Guru, ITC Taraman. Not only must we be good, but we must try and be good for something. GINA is a non-for-profit organization dedicated to help children with development disorders and their families. Developmental disorders is a broad classification for a group of diseases that affect the mental and physical development of children. GINA is a volunteer-based organization that aims to provide support, services, and education to children and their families. GINA is focusing on projects in the Silicon Valley, California, and in India. Did you know who founded this organization? Drajani and Praveen Madan, and they named it after their daughter, GINA. We invited Ms. Rajani, the founder of the GINA organization, to our studio to give us some more input about the organization and how we can all make a difference. Hello, Ms. Rajani, and welcome to Ms. Reno On Air. Thank you. Ms. Rajani, how did you come up with this idea? Well, um, you know, after our daughter, Gina, was born, um, she had developmental disabilities, so I had felt very isolated. Um, so we wanted to reach out to other parents in a similar situation, parents who had children with developmental disabilities, um, to provide support for each other and share information. And that's how GINA, the organization, was formed. Can you give us some more information about the GINA organization? Well, we are a parent support group, and um, we are all parents of children with developmental disabilities. Um, we have a center in Milpitas, um, but most of the parents um, connect with each other on online through computers. So we um, have an online forum where parents can talk about uh, what their needs are, um, how is the school working for their children, what kind of support do they need, and all of those things. Um, you can go on our website, gina.org, um, and um, get more information from there. How can us as young children help? Well, the biggest help that um, young children can do is what you're doing already, Arthi. You're um, familiarizing yourself with children with developmental disabilities. 
Um, so just remember that children, um, irrespective of their special needs, are still children. So if you can accept them and empathize with them and try to play with them, that will be a huge help. Rajini, how is the Gina organization funding? So we get most of our funding from parents um, and individuals. They donate to Gina. And then we also write very few grants, and we get um, some support from companies like Cisco, IBM, um, Hewlett Packard, Oracle. Uh, but most of the funding comes from parents. So um, if anyone's interested in contributing, they can go to gina.org, and there is um, a link there for donation, and um, you can donate, donate using PayPal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Like Miss Rajini said, there are many simple ways to help the GINA organization. For example, you can even be a part of the GINA organization by volunteer your time and talent. I think it's great to help others and make their lives better. Have an awesome weekend, everyone. This is your Making a Difference Guru, Arti, signing off. Hello and welcome to Miss Renu On Air. This is Amar Pankar, your science guru. With recent horrors of the earthquakes in Haiti and Chile we've had to face, I thought I would research some calendar facts on earthquakes that have occurred in history. Did you know that on March 6, 1987, approximately 1,000 people d were killed, 4,000 were missing, 20,000 homeless, and extensive damage? Landslides and ground cracks in Napo province and Quito Tilcan area, Ecuador. This was because a 7.0 big earthquake that happened in Colombia, Ecuador 22 years ago. About 27 miles of the oil pipeline in Ecuador between Lago Agria and Balo were destroyed or badly damaged. Landslide occurred in Pasto Maco area, Colombia felt strongly in many parts of Ecuador and southern Colombia. It was also felt in central Colombia and northern Peru, and was considered at that time one of the world's most deadliest earthquakes. How many of you ever wondered if earthquakes can be really predicted? The answer is no. Neither the USGS or Caltech or any other scientist has ever predicted a major earthquake. They do not know, and they do not expect to know. However, based on the scientific data, probabilities can be calculated for the potential future earthquakes. For example, scientists estimate that over the next 30 years, the probability of a major earthquake occurring in San Francisco Bay Area is 67% and 60% in Southern California. The USGS focused their effort on the long-term mitigation of earthquake hazards by helping to improve the safety of structures rather than trying to accomplish short-term predictions. Do you know what is the best thing to do in event of earthquake? Drop, cover, and hold under a table or desk is still the best recommendation, according to the American Red Cross. And it is believed that someday California will fall into the ocean? Is that true? Relax, we're not going anywhere. The Pacific Plate is moving northwest with respect of the North American Plate at approximately 46 millimeters per year, the rate your fingernails grow. The strike-slip earthquakes in the San Andreas Fault are a result of the plate motion. The plates are moving horizontally past one another, so California is not going to fall into the ocean. However, Los Angeles and San Francisco will one day be next to each other. That would be great. Disneyland would be right in our backyard. And on that note, have a dry and safe week and more exciting science facts next week. Tuning off, this is Amar, your science guru.
everyone. My name is Ashpit Gaba, your Bali Holly Guru, and I am back with a new release, Teen Patti. My favorite actor Amitabh Bachchan is playing a lead role in this movie. Friends, did you know that Amitabh Bachchan is 68 years old and today he is one of the biggest actors and singers in Bollywood. I am sure he has been listening to our health guru regularly and staying fit. Teen Patti is about gambling and probability which is a well-known term in mathematics. It tells that how probability if implemented properly can even predict gambling and help winning it. Well, what I know about probability is that the probability of having my birthday party next week is very high and probability of getting me a new DS game as a birthday present is very low. But I am sure I will learn more about probability at Genius Kids and then I will understand the mathematics behind it. The film was released on February 26th. The movie is starred by two of the most renowned actors, Amitabh Bachchan Academy Awards winner Bing Ben Kingsley and our three idiots favorite Madhavan. Lena Yadav is the director of the movie. Oscar winning Hugh Winborn is the film editor. When Hugh Winborn got an offer for Teen Patti, all he knew of Bollywood was that it makes more films than Hollywood in a year. That combined with the chance to visit India for the first time made him accept the project. Well, I can imagine that must have been fun time to visit India and making the film in Hindi. Critics say that the concept of the film is similar to Hollywood Flick 21. The movie tells the story of Sir Ben Kingsley, who is considered to be the world's greatest living mathematician. One day he met, meets Uncle Bachchan, an unknown and quiet, lonely math genius from India, at a casino in London. And if I tell you more, the probability is that you may not go and see it. So I will stop right here. The probability of me at the age of five seeing the movie is highly unlikely. With that, I close today's segment. Are you seeking a fun place for your little genius to step into their journey of learning? Maybe you need a program to tweak the minds of your toddler and preschooler. Maybe you're looking for a safe daycare for your infant that includes an exciting, stimulating environment filled with love. Maybe you need a fun after-school program during the school year that offers academics, sports, dance, music, acting, public speaking and arts and crafts all under one roof. And to add to the icing on the cake, a cute real yellow school bus that can pick and drop your child off and to and from school, home or genius kids. How about delicious home cooked meals, yummy aloo parathas, creamy vegetable galore khichdi, fresh fruit salad and lots more. Maybe you have a child with ADD, dyslexia, autism or someone who needs that extra special attention. Maybe you have a middle school or high schooler who needs to learn the ropes of speech and debate. 
Now, where could you find this wish list? Yes, of course, there are tons of preschools and after-school programs, but let me ask you, how many of them have been featured on CNNMoney.com as the most innovative educational concept? How many of them have been interviewed by Fox TV? How many of them have been nominated Best of the Bay by Cron4 TV? How many of them have been featured nationally and globally for their success? Only Genius Kids, an independent, award-winning, accelerated learning center founded on the philosophy, never too little to learn. A simple belief that every child is a genius, and as educators and parents, it is our responsibility to awaken the inner genius in each child. Call us today with campuses in Ardenwood, Central Fremont, Mission San Jose, and of course our very first expanded new franchise in San Ramon. We are here to offer you that extra special attention. However, due to an overwhelming response, please only call us if you want the best and nothing but the best for your child, since we will settle for nothing less than that. Now, Genius Kids is proud to announce the opening of what we refer to as a five-star rating daycare on Fremont Boulevard in the Charter Square shopping center right next door to Dulhan. Beautiful classrooms, dance rooms, arts and crafts, nap area with stars, and a baby room with pictures of mommy. And then, a huge playground. Opening October 1st, 2011. To reserve a seat, give us a call at 510-713-2431. That's 510-713-2431. Or our San Ramon campus at 925-244-1080. Or visit GeniusKidsOnline.com. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Ritika Susarla, your reporter for Kids in the News. Did you hear about the six-year-old who can pull 1,670 kilograms of car and is planning to target an airplane next? Yes, I am talking about a six-year-old boy called Santos Peromal. Santos looks like you and I, any normal six-year-old, but has become the youngest person to pull a car for a distance of 120 meters. His goal is to be known as Santos Ten, a name he has borrowed from his favorite cartoon character Ben Ten. Santos has pulled a 240E Mercedes Benz carrying four adults, weighing a total of 1,670 kilograms, using a simple harness tied to his waist. His father, Antaigu, who is 42 years old, said the Malaysian Book of Records will include Santos as the youngest Malaysian ever to haul such a weight. His mother, M. Shilvi, who is 42 years old, said her son would do some warming up exercises, which include stretching and breathing before each attempt to pull a car. His diet includes five eggs and cereal for breakfast, a whole pot of chili chicken for lunch, and he drinks mugs of energy beverages every day. The shy Santos said that if Air Asia would allow him, he would like to try and pull their plane. Wow! Now whatever you do, kids, don't try any of these stunts, but instead, let us learn from this example that determination is the way to success, and that if we set our mind to doing something, nothing is impossible. Just like I did, I wanted to be a radio host, and here I am. This is Ritika signing off. Happy Valentine's! I hope you enjoyed the show, and in closing, I'm wrapping up with a song I've written and composed with the famous rapper Mixman Sean. This is a song from upcoming kids' movie called Smart Cookies, A Team with an Attitude. The song has been sung and directed by Mixman Sean, Amar Pankar, Rahul Joshi, Jia Bhatia, and Krish Parikh. Enjoy, and until next week, have a great week. One, two, three, four... 
time to move. Look at the clock. It's time to rock, push, sing, and rock. Off we go. Let's have some fun. It's a beautiful day. Look at the sun. It's time to move. Look at the clock.